an effective way to understand the Earth system for the climate scenarios. We all know that the Earth system is a very complex and we project the future climate and it's a change through climate models. However, the models reflect less than or equal to what we have understood about the system so far. By the way, are we able to understand the system properly? And we know that the understanding is through observations and modeling tools. But how reliable are our observations and modeling tools? Sometimes modeling tools may be simulating the past well, but are we sure of the future projections with such models? Most probably not by the state of the art. Then, can we do something to fix them? Of course, yes. But how? The simple fix is that the physical process sensitivity experiments in a top-down and bottom-up approach respectively to understand the system better. We cannot understand the system properly, maybe because we cannot process all the processes like a computer that processes the processes in the model or the processes are themselves are, rep are not represented correctly in the models. However, there is a way to understand even the complex system like a Earth system for the climate scenarios. First of all, we have to decouple the Earth system until our mind can process the processes easily but in the systematic way and should be kept in the limitations in mind. Now, this decouple system is a simple so that we can look into the processes embedded in the model and it can be pick the faulty processor processes out by the sensitivity experiments. For example, we have decoupled the land surface component and uh, now we are seeing the sensitivity of evapotranspiration in some forested region towards some physical process. This is called the top-down approach of understanding of the p understanding of piecewise. By the repetition of a several key processes towards a crucial climate variable, would let us understand the decoupled system. However, in this pursuit, we come across a several malfunction processes. Here is a real challenge is to identify the faulty physical process or group of processes in the decoupled system through process sensitivity studies and mending them with uh, appropriate physical dynamical principles. We have decoupled the component from the coupled earth system. It is a simpler bit. But a crucial drawback of decoupling is that the real system is not decoupled but it is a very interactive, so we have to couple again as we have understood and corrected the process in a bitwise fashion. The coupling of all bits is called a bottom-up approach. This brings us a better understanding of the global climate change uh, through the better understanding of the modeling tools. We can even understand the global warming issue with more confidence. To sum up, there is no use in a climate model simulations if we cannot understand the real system and the limitations of a modeling tools. However, both of these uh, real and modeling systems can be understood through process sensitivity studies. Finally, the purging of a climate modeling tools with appropriate physics is more important than wrongly projecting the climate.